with the World Series in full swing we will try to answer the question who's on first to be named the next Federal Reserve Chair. The appointment could be one of the Trump administration's most critical decisions especially given the transition with an interest rate policy, the Fed's balance sheet and government regulation. We believe the U.S. economy is on firm footing with back-to-back -back quarters of 3% GDP, continued strength in the labor markets and improving corporate profits. Inflation measures, however, remain stubbornly low and well below the Fed's stated target of 2%. And lastly, the administration remains dedicated to reducing the regulatory burden, but the Fed is tasked to maintaining the safety and soundness of the financial system. Will Trump favor continuity or take the opportunity to revamp the institution? So who's on first? Janet Yellen's term ends in February and President Trump is expected to announce his selection later this week. The process began with five potential candidates, Gary Cohn, Kevin Warsh, Jerome Powell, John Taylor and Janet Yellen. Recent indications are that Gary Cohn, the current director of the National Economic Council, has fallen out of the running. His criticism of the violence in the Charlottesville protests may have sealed his fate, but he is also considered too crucial in his current role as the driving force in the administration's tax reform efforts. Kevin Warsh, a Fed governor from 2006 to 2011, was an early favorite, but has also faded from the picture. Warsh is considered the most hawkish of the choices and, since leaving the board has been very critical of Fed policy, especially the use of the balance sheet. Warsh went so far as to call the Fed's policies reverse Robin Hood with the rich getting richer. In our view, his stance on reducing bank regulation appeals to the administration, but his lack of continuity with current monetary policy could potentially rattle the markets and push interest rates higher. Cohn and Warsh can't be completely ruled out, but both were omitted as choices in Trump's informal straw poll on Fed chair preferences with Senate Republicans last week.